Welcome to the Bentex 7X Large Radius Crown Wizard Tutorial. Available with Large Radius Module as well as with SE and Industrial, this video will show you how to utilize the Crown Wizard by creating a large radius bend in the assembly interface. From the Task Menu screen, click on the Assembly button to open a new assembly project. Now, maximize the screen and select the Pick Points tab to start placing the points that will represent the outline of our project. Start by typing 16 into the ceiling field to the left, then typing 18 into the left field and click the Apply button. Then click on the right field to transfer the 18 there and then click the Apply button. Now enter a 0 into the ceiling field and click Apply. Next, click the left field and click Apply. Finally, clear the values, then type 16 into the ceiling field and apply a final time. These five points now make up the outline of our part. From here, click the Bent button above and type 2 into the Number of Bends field and click OK. Then, click on the four outer points in a clockwise motion to draw out a two-bent part. When you're finished, just leave the name of the part as it is and click the OK button. Now, with the part drawn out and before a large radius has been added, it should be noted that we'll need to know the distance between the center apexes of our bends in order to enter it into our crown wizard. So go to the Dimensions tab and click on the Single button. As you can see here, the distance between our centerline apex pick points is 36 inches. To access the center apexes, first click on the Entities button at the top of the screen and check the Center Point option in order to display it in the design. Now close the window and measure the distance between the new points for our crown wizard. As you can see, we have 24 inches between our bend center points. Next, go up and click the delete button and delete our length of tubing from the design. We're doing this because we're going to need to make a three bend part in order to create our crown. Now open our crown wizard by clicking on the help button from the main menu bar and selecting the crown wizard tool from the list. In this window, we will enter the CLR of our die in the first two value fields, then the width between the bend center points in the width field, and the height we want our crown to be in the height field. I've chosen the height to be two inches off the center line of the top length of tube. When you've entered all this information, click the Calculate button. Now, all of this generated information is relevant, but only some of it is necessary to help us in designing our part. Since the values for apex R1 and R2 rise are the same because they have the same CLR, we will only need this one number for both sides of the design. The main apex rise will also be used. This will be the offset distance upwards from the top center pick point of the apex location of bend 2 before we adjust the radius. Finally, we will need to know the main arc radius, which will be the radius for the crown itself. For now, we will just move this window aside while we place our new points in the project. So go to the Pick Points tab once more, clear the values from before, and enter a 6 into the Floor Value field. We need to drop our top outer pick points by 6 inches to accommodate for the CLR of our die. So click the left pick point to set it as a reference and click the Apply button. Then do the same with the right point as well. Now clear the values once more and type 4.286 into the ceiling field. Then, use our new points as references and apply them to place these points. These will be the new apexes of our outer bends. Finally, clear the values again and type 4.457 into the ceiling field. Then, click the top center point in the design to set it as a reference and click Apply to finish. Now, as long as we know the radius amount that we're trying to achieve, we can close the crown wizard window and proceed to drawing the tube once again. So click the Bent button from above type 3 into the Number of Bends value field and click OK. Then draw the tube using our new apex points as seen here. Now since we want to enlarge this radius here, we'll have to add a new mock die with a 43 inch CLR so that we can apply it to this bend. So go up to the Tools tab and click the Die Library option. Here we'll click on the Add New button Name the die and enter 43 in both the achieved and calibrated CLR fields. Then enter a 0 in the Bend Location Offset field, save the die off, and click the Close button to finish. Now switch to the Edit tab and the Miscellaneous sub-tab. 
Select the Single Bend CLR Change drop-down menu and choose our mock die from the list. Then click the Select Bend button and click on the second bend to change its radius in the design. As you can see, the Crown Wizard has offered us all the information we needed to create this large radius crown. From here, you can click on the Parts tab and transfer the part out to a single part designer and receive the bending instructions. In the Task tab, you can access the starts, centers, and ends of each of these bends. Thank you for participating in our Large Radius Crown Wizard tutorial. For updates on when we release new videos to our channel, click the subscribe button below and like us on Facebook. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to make a video suggestion, feel free to call our office or email us at support at ben-tech.com.